favorite YouTuber, DS Learning Finance, financially educating you guys to freedom. For the beginners, by former beginner every Sunday at 3 p.m. A very good friend of mine asked me an interesting question last week, guys. She asked if it's better for her to pay off her debts or to start a savings account. You guys know, me being me, I gave her my thoughts and opinions. But at the same time, it made me sit back and think, hmm, if she's going through this, then there must be a lot of other people going through this as well. So why not make a video about it? If you guys like the sound of this, then make sure to like the video, hit the share button, and also hit the subscribe button too. Make sure the notification bell is on, that's important. And follow me on all on my social media platforms down below in the description box. Oh, and by the way, if you guys have any personal questions that you want to ask, box and um, want me to answer then let me know in the comment box below with that in mind this video is going to give you guys all of the knowledge you need not your friend not your family not the people around you you personally need to answer this question individually for yourself so make sure to watch the video throughout so to truly answer this question you guys need to understand what is the most crucial thing here it's understanding the control that the bank in particular has. And to no surprise, because when it comes to the debt that we take out with a the bank, they slap their interest on top. And also when it comes to the savings accounts, the money that we actually put into bank, to the bank itself, they slap on their interest as well. The bank has their hand in every pocket, every aspect of this. Why am I mentioning this with you guys? Well, it's because we tend to focus on ourselves. How can we as the customer benefit from this scenario? But bluntly put, guys, we're not the people who control this situation. It's the bank. What we need to actually be asking ourselves is how does the bank benefit? Now, you're probably asking yourself, what do I mean by this? Taking out a loan with a bank, so incurring a debt and opening a savings account to the bank is actually part of the same process. It's actually part of the same supply chain to offer a service for you guys. See, the debt part is actually towards the end of the process where they borrow money out to customers like you that want to take out a loan. Whilst the savings account part is actually part of the initial process, which gives the bank the funds to borrow money out to customers who want to take out debts. The only difference here is that the debt part is what the bank owes because they're using other people's money to borrow to customers who want to take out a debt like yourself. Whilst the savings account part is money that is given to the banks. Why am I mentioning all of this? Well, think about it from the bank's perspective, not your own, the banks. Put yourself in their shoes. Which one would I actually rather benefit from the most? It will always be with a higher risk option because at least then it justifies why the bank is taking out that loan and giving it to their customer. They're taking greater risk with a debt because they're possibly borrowing to you money that you don't own and possibly they don't own. Whereas with a savings account, there's less emphasis because it's you giving them the money to hold. Not only do they control the interest rates in this scenario, but they also control how much money initially is involved in either case. You would tend to find that you can borrow a lot more money than you can save when it comes to banks. They do this for a reason. And just to really hone in guys, it's these two things that you need to be concerned about the most when it comes to financially which route is the best to take it's the interest rate and the amount of money initially involved because that then dictates the performance of either route i'll explain what i mean in this graph that i'm going to draw for you guys just like anything in finance when it comes to plotting the axes the most important things is time and money so that's what we're going to stick with guys time on the x-axis and money so that's positive pounds that's money you gained and that's negative pounds that's money you've lost you see when you take out a debt you start off here guys you could be thousands of pounds in debt provided you have reasonable credit and what the bank does is that it gives you high interest rate. So it takes a reasonable amount of time for you to pay all that money back, hence why they charge you a high interest rate. So I call that the D curve. And the high interest rate is reflected in the longevity of the curve. But when you take out a savings account, what actually happens is this. So I'm gonna draw it with the blue marker. You'll start off relatively low there, much lower than where the debt curve was. Because when it comes to savings account, you will always notice that they don't allow you to put in a large amount of money initially. It's because that they know 
They know you can even benefit from low interest rates but really high deposits. So they want to literally restrict how much interest they can pay you. Not only that, but the interest rate as well is relatively low. So instead of being this steep curve here, as you guys can tell, this curve is really like pretty much flat. And even me drawing it a little bit, like going upwards a little bit, is me exaggerating guys. I'm, I'm really pushing for savings account right here. I'll call it curve S by the way. Just to put things into perspective, the best savings account I've personally seen in the UK was with a well-known building society. And um, yeah, I was getting 2.7% interest. And that number rings a special bell because actually 2.7% exactly is inflation rate as well. So what they were offering me was just staying afloat with inflation. So really, I'm not actually getting any financial benefit. I'm just trying to keep up with the rest of the market. And that was a good savings account, guys. I struggled to find that one. The majority of them are terrible, 10 times worse. So savings accounts that you're putting your money in, yeah, a lot of them are actually losing you money when it comes to inflation because they're not even keeping up with that 2.7% interest. Just go look at the savings accounts, guys, available online. How many noughts before the decimal place you see? And so when it comes to deciding which route is the best to take, what a lot of people like to focus on is the final position. So it would either be there or there for the savings account. Which one's actually better? Well, in that case, the savings account is better. But that's not what you should actually focus on. What you should focus on is the difference. So the difference is there. Because that's really how much financial gain is a lot, guys, for, for paying off the debt. But with the savings account, is it actually a lot? When you actually draw it out there, there's not much financial benefit. And this basically answers your question, guys. With a savings account, you have very little financial benefit because the banks, there's less incentive for the bank to make you money. Whereas in a debt, there's more incentive for the bank to make money. So you'll have a bigger financial gain from paying off debts. What I do want to say for savings accounts is I don't want to knock them down because they do offer a lot of benefit in the sense of psychologically, it teaches you how to keep your money aside, which I really like. But when you look in the grand scheme of things, the interest rates, the initial amount involved, it will just speak for itself, <laughs> like I said. <laughs> so it's not to discourage people who have savings accounts. It's just to say, look, be mindful of your debts first. And also just to mention guys, with these curves, I assume that the interest rate was fixed. Whereas when you take out some debt, sometimes it's variable. Sometimes you may forget to, to, to make a payment and that therefore pushes your interest rates higher or makes it longer for you to pay back all that money. In those cases, I only suggest that you can take out a debt where you're confident you will meet those payments each month consistently. But also be wary of savings accounts as well, guys, because you already know the savings account, they struggle to keep up with inflation. So if you miss a payment, for example, that might stunt your growth even further. And let's just say you might even struggle <laughs> to actually make money from that savings account. And that's the end of my video, guys. I really enjoyed talking about this topic so much. It's all about helping people, real life people in real life scenarios. That's what this channel is about. Now my question for you guys is, knowing what you know now with the interest rates and the initial amount of money involved being the key factors in this case, which one do you think is better? Paying off a debt or investing? Let me know your thoughts in the comment box below, but also at the same time, if you guys have any of your own personal questions that you want to ask me, let me know in the comment box. I'll try my best to answer it. And don't forget to hit the like button down below, share this video guys, and hit the subscription button with the notification bell. Can't forget that bell and follow me on all of my social media platforms. It's your favorite YouTuber guys, DSL and Finance, financially educating you guys to freedom. For the beginners, buy from the beginner every Sunday at 3 p.m. DS, learning finance. Whoa. Bye, guys. Whoa. Whoa.